What's going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Grey's Anatomy. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 2. Let's go. At any given moment, the brain has 14 billion neurons firing at a speed of 450 miles per hour. When we get excited, adrenaline... Are you about to see your panties on the bulletin board? The body naturally follows its impulses. You don't need all these. No more muffins. Oh, I could go for a muffin. <laughs> Mama. Daddy. Rusty. Oh, Daddy. Is this a new service the hospital is providing? <laughs> I told you to guard Shut the door. Up. I had a cold blue. I, I want my 20 bucks back. It's not Tyler's fault you're a dirty, dirty stripper. <laughs> but everyone heard. I'm flipping a coin. A girl can only hold out for so long. Oh, well, and somehow I'm the dirty stripper. Huh. You two have flipping time to round. You two busy getting naked on hospital property. No, it wasn't oh. naked. I, I, I wasn't naked. I need the day off. A day off for what? For drinking. You want to talk about it, Addy, or you just want to be glib a little longer? Why are you living in your office? Mm -hmm. Miss Sieber, what? No, I'm, I'm sorry. You cannot be eating. What is all of this? It's scheduled for surgery this afternoon. We push the surgery a little. Tomorrow, maybe? Oh, my God, you've got to taste this. It's funny. <laughs> I have never smoked a cigarette in my life. I have never smoked pot. I've never drank before today. I haven't had a dessert in 10 years. I am the picture of health. I'm sorry. I think I'm on a sugar high. I'm sorry. That O'Malley. sucks, we bro, to be that healthy. Tomorrow. And get her a psych consult. Yes, sir. And no more food deliveries. Look, he wants you to talk to the chief about Izzy, see if she She's can come She's just back. baking, a lot of baking, and it seems a waste for all her talent and medical skills to go into muffins. We just thought you might stop the house. Benjamin O'Leary, 32, in for the removal of a brain tumor that's pressing on his frontal temporal lobe. Clearly, it's affecting his impulse control. It makes me say everything I think. Pinched, uptight look on her face. <laughs> Am I annoying you? It's fine. You can't say it's fine. Is that blonde your girlfriend? Because the way you keep looking at her, you might as well just mount her right here and now. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Was that rude? You can tell me whose damn panties are on the bulletin board. Serious work happens here. We save lives. This is bad. This isn't good. You better clean them. So, tell me, which one of you left your damn drawers on my surgical floor? <laughs> you mean check with you before we cut any wires or steal any hearts? Are you trying to be clever? No, ma'am. Better not be. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina. I, I, I may have said that earlier, but... Did I, I hear you refer to Miranda Bailey as a Nazi? I would think that as a woman of color and as a doctor, no less, that you would think twice before using that word as a punchline. I'll think about that in the future, Mrs. Burke. Mrs. Burke? Do you mind, Dr. Shepard, if I borrow your young intern for a quick cup of coffee? I'll bring her right back. Oh, no problem. Dr. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Perfect. sorry? Thanks. <laughs> I'll take care of Bailey, okay? Enjoy your coffee date, ladies. Very nice meeting you. Thank you. I'll, um... This is a change. Damn. From the elevator. And a little more public, I like it. You're married. You're married, mm -hmm. and you said things to me. It makes me a homewrecker, and I hate the fact that I'm a homewrecker. Meredith, I am just now done trying to rebuild it. You're done. I'm done? Whatever you, you say done. that. You say that. Here's your panties back, bro. You guys should think about getting a hotel room or something. Callie, I like her style. Your mother wants to have coffee with me. And? And she thinks I'm a racist. Oh, and a stripper. Hmm? She thinks I'm a racist stripper. Oh, oh, come on, what's funny? This is not funny. Actually, she needed a day off. Something about finding another woman's panties in the pocket of your tux. I know a thing or two about affairs. I even know a thing or two about affairs with women named Gray. It's not an affair. <laughs> I was going to tell her. God, that Man, hair. She's... It's so luxurious. It's not an affair. You're very pretty, but you look kind of tired, and I think maybe you should change your hair conditioner. That was rude, <laughs> Benjamin. 
it is? <laughs> no, actually, it's true. <laughs> He's hot <laughs> and arrogant in a way that's still sexy. I would totally have sex with him if I could. Looked like you could. So what's the holdup? <laughs> Are you trying to seduce me? Are you putting your will on her? You're jealous. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not. Yeah. Mm, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not jealous. <laughs> what? I'll tell him the truth about the panties. Don't you dare. He is jealous. How'd that happen? I don't know. You're a surgeon. How'd that happen? Karev, she's a resident. <laughs> she outranks you. You don't get to ask personal questions. What's not clear? What's not clear to me is why you won't talk to Izzy. What do we got, Jill? Harley Hernandez, 14, was street luging when he lost control and hit a car. Oh! You're blocking our path, please. He's got a full fucking sir, tree sir, in him, bro. Oh, okay. Chill. He was blocking the paramedic. No, he is terrified. His child is a tree. Alex, listen to me. You will not get physical with another human being on my watch. Ooh, Bailey. As you know, now, I'm see, sure. He graduated really? first in his Bailey class. Bailey I, I did know that. not one <laughs> to be. Actually, I graduated oh. first in my class. Of state. Married, uh, I'm sorry, married... Come, Christina. You must have considered the possibility. Handsome man. He's brilliant. He's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, Burke, 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 Burke's here. Preston, is it Preston? Burke is here. Oh, what a surprise. My two favorite ladies all in one place. You are selfish, and my son is giving. And the combination, well, it's not going to last. Not much longer. Was a little selfish, I would say. Kidney's gone. But mom, mom's no pretty intimidating. Just for is that a tree? His mother rivals my mother, and that is saying something. Mm -hmm. I think we all should just go there. You know, tell the truth, spit it out, go with your gut, follow your instincts. I made a choice. I'm picking Derek. Finn is great, but Derek is Derek. Your patient was caught shoplifting chocolates from the hospital gift shop. What? I die whether they yeah, have a surgery but or not. You have higher I have chances than. My life pent up, repressed. Live. We should all be done. So you're leaving. Oh, God. Is he? I don't hate her for that opinion. Uh oh. Finn. Hey. What, what, what are you doing home? I thought you were working. I am. I'm, I was. I, I still am. I just came home to check on Izzy. But I do want to make one thing clear. What's that? I'm not all that sensitive. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Is Meredith getting some afternoon delight? Okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Ask him if he has his Robin suit handy. How is he? Is he okay? I mean, you've been operating for hours. There is extensive damage. We've had to remove one of his kidneys and a portion of his bowel. But the tree's out. I mean, you got it out and he's okay. Hopefully he stays alive, you know, since you told is him he? he's such a How you doing, piece sweetie? of crap. Okay, please don't call me Mrs. Shepard. <laughs> That's funny. My super slutty husband? You should have a muffin. They're really good and super still help you. slutty husband. <laughs> She's still here. Never leaves. She never even pees. <laughs> He's the guy who brings your roommate lunch when she's sad. So I'm going to end it with Derek. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And I'm going in for surgery. Selfish people don't save lives. Oh, okay. What? You're flirting with that nurse. I'm young. I'm healthy. I got a life to live. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? He's going to keep asking till you answer. Why are you so angry? Is it because you're frigid? Or he's frigid? You just seem kind of self-obsessed to me. Ben. I'm a surgeon. In order to be a surgeon, a certain amount of self-obsession is necessary. My boyfriend gets that. Well, his mother didn't. My offending everyone offended her. And he said he didn't care what his mother thought. But in the end, he did care. And only my fat sister Ruth is with me. Oh, Benjamin, that was kind of rude. What a jerk. I'm locking down the external fixator. There's no acne song. Oh. The parents, have they said their goodbyes? Mom's not here yet. I think you've got me mixed up with Izzy Stevens. All right, everybody. Take your positions. Cut carefully. You see that right there? It's too close to the cabinet sinus. I've got a bleeder. Brain's no. starting to swell. Is 
heart can't take it. Oh. BP is dropping. Oh, he's bleeding. Damn it, he's bleeding fast. Look at him. Shock him again. I decided that I'm gonna get really fat. I'm gonna eat all of these muffins, and I'm gonna get really gloriously fat. Fox, I am desirable. Amanda? Miranda. Right. The attractive I am? Wildly attractive. You are. And your wildly attractive cab is here. Can I buy you a drink? Dude. I have a lot of them. I'm trying one of everything. Alex is looking hey. good yeah, lately. Okay, lady from the I am into it. Oh, Joe. Oh. Working it. Hey, watch it. George, my opinion? You could keep using the doors as weapons, or you could go get lucky with the sexy, hot, dirty girl. There's something wrong in the world when Bambi's getting laid, and I can't get five minutes alone with her. Choice made. Oh, that's it. You're going to base your choice on flipping a coin. He wasn't impulsive, Meredith. He wasn't honest. He was sick and brain damaged. And now he's dead. No. Mr. Hernandez. Um, may I? You, you okay? I knew better. I knew better. Shit happens, bro. Just keep picturing him going down that hill and... I didn't stop him. Ever since the divorce, I only get to see him every other weekend. I never would have bought him that luge. I never would have let him go off on his own that way before. I went soft when he needed me to be the father. I wish I'd had more fun. I didn't want to be a slut. I didn't want to be a tramp. Didn't have any fun. My ex-husband, he had fun. All sorts of fun with all sorts of women who were she more fun than me. About to bang. Nobody ever called him a slut. Alex. Why is that? I get called an ass. I don't care. I don't think you're an ass. I don't think you're a slut. Do you have a girlfriend, Alex? No. No girlfriend. So you're single? And I'm very bad at this. Never having had any practice. So, um, I am... I'm gonna go into the bathroom. But should you have any interest in fulfilling the wish of a potentially dying woman, you know where I'll be. Do it. Oh, he didn't even think about it. Getting some exercise, Dr. Tora? Ah, see, he doesn't know she'd be living in there. Since you came around, no, I just can't slow down. Hi. Girl, you got me thinking about diving. Thanks for coming, both of you. Thanks for coming. But I think I owe myself the chance to consider my options. Op options? There's this thing that allows for the considering of options. You bowing out? No. You? I don't think so. <laughs> Just have a menage. You I'd watch. First exactly. <laughs> I respect it. You're throwing me out. Got no choice. This violates all sorts of codes, and you know it. Okay, I'm jealous, but I have a right to be jealous because I don't want other guys touching your pants. Yes, come on, Alex. You heading out, Dana? Gotta get back to the hospital, Joe. Gotta go kick this cancer's ass. All right. About today. Dr. Bailey, you were right. I... I shouldn't be getting physical with patients. <laughs> Even though you just banged one. <laughs> Christina, it's late. Preston needs to sleep. But the thing that makes us human. I'm sorry, Mrs. Burke. I was just coming in to see if either of you needed anything before I went home for the evening. Good night, Preston. Sleep well. Hang in there. After the storm, after the rush, after the heat of the moment has passed, we can cool off and clean up the messes we've made. I'm busy. You guys leave me alone. Izzy. I went soft. I had a baby, and I swore it wouldn't change me, but it just, 
It does change you. And I stopped teaching. I stopped teaching when you needed a teacher the most. And I'm partly to blame for I love what her. happened. So. Bailey is my favorite character of this entire show. I want you to come I love back. Her. We can try to let go of what was. I feel terrible. I'm not proud of what I did. I'm sorry I did that. And you're not going to end it with her? Her marriage is over. Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. And then again. Oh, but hello. Jesus. What a stud. Damn. McSteamy back in the house. McSteamy back in the house his house i wish mcsteamy was up in my house okay come on lord lord i mean damn he's there i mean here's the thing though if you were coming and to, to derek if you were coming over to say that it's over whatever like you can't be that mad i mean i guess because that was your best friend but like you're not friends anymore you don't want anything to do with him and if those two really do love each other then fuck it i mean if you don't want anything to do with him anymore he doesn't owe you anything anymore either because you don't even want to be his friend anymore i mean the whole situation's shitty and i'm just speaking off the top of my head and i've had a drink or two so it's like i can't be held accountable for what i say right now but i mean look at mcsteamy I mean, but also look at McDreamy, but like, look at McSteamy. I mean, can you even? <laughs> I love this show. I love Bailey. I love that that dynamic between um, Yang and Burke's mom. That was cool. That was funny to see. I just love this show. I love these characters. I can't wait to watch uh, season three, see how it goes. And I'm going to jump into the next one in just a sec. See you over there. Bye.